so we're here. This is something you probably won't get in the tour guides. There is no better place on earth. Maybe we've shared as many beds. Oh, I don't think Joseph's gonna mind. <laughs> oh my God. I think I'm lit from the white claw. Honestly. Well, hello there and welcome back to another vlog. This weekend, I'm going on another mini staycation, which I'm super excited about. This weekend, I'm heading to my home county with a friend of mine. His name's Eamon. He's so much fun. I've known him for years and he has never been to Galway before. I feel like Galway is arguably the best county in Ireland. I know I'm biased, but it is so incredible and it has so much to offer. So I'm going to show him my home county through the eyes of kind of a tourist. So I'm gonna bring him down for the weekend and show him everything that Galway has to offer. I also have a day of kind of excursions booked for us. I'm gonna bring him to the Aran Islands. I'm gonna bring him to the Cliffs of Moher. I'm really excited to see my own county through the eyes of someone who hasn't seen it before. I feel like it will reinvigorate my love for my hometown. So I'm really excited. I better go now because I need to go and pick him up we gotta hit the road. Okay, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So we're here, Eamon's in Air Square for the first time. This is, say, it's beautiful, isn't it beautiful? This is where I spent my childhood as a teenager. It's very busy because it's very sunny. It's raining. Oh my God, it's so cool. Now Eamon, there's the biggest supermax in Ireland. Are you joking? I mean, honestly, that's like a tourist spot in itself. At two in the morning, that place does be hot thing, especially during rag week. So now we're here on Chop Street. I will take you down. But right there, next to Brown Thomas, I used to live in that apartment there, and there was many a wild party. Oh. Oh. why I love Galway City so much because there's buskers on every single corner. So this is Eason's, the bookshop that I worked in for seven years, all through college, read a lot of books. Oh yeah. I mean like you actually can't get away from the buskers. It's so lovely. On every single corner there's buskers. Now we're gonna go to Clada Jewelers because um, we want to look at clatter rings and you can actually see the clatter symbol on the wall right there. Um, I've had them when I was younger. I kind of want to get an updated one. You can see it right there. So this is Key Street. Um, obviously Galway has so much history attached to it. The King's Head here is a really, really um, like pub that's full of history. Another super famous pub, Chinochtan, is absolutely brilliant for a lock-in. This is the place where the clatter rings actually originated in Dylan and Son. So I'm going to have a look in here and see if they have them. So here we're coming up onto the Spanish Arch. Actually, where I was going to take you for lunch is Orbea right there. Okay. I don't even know if they'll have a booking, but that's a fabulous place to go. Eamon, how are you enjoying Galway so far? I absolutely love it. Isn't I'm kind it of so cute. Friends, we are very blessed with a beautiful day. I know. You, um, it's, yeah, it's not always like this. is gorgeous. People are really nice. Yeah. Um, bumped into old friends, which is really strange. Yeah, that's um, Galway for you. You just bump into everyone. There's more buskers. You can't get away from the music. It's amazing. So we're going to go to the shop and pick up a few beverachinos. Beverachino? <laughs> Did someone say a beverachino? And then we're going to sit down on the grass and live the true Galway experience, which was essentially my childhood was spent drinking. We can get a pizza and have a glass. Absolutely, we can get a pizza. One hundred percent, we can get a pizza. Let's do it. So we have secured pizza slices. We've also got a couple of cans of white claw. We wanted oh. to get some ice, and the guy in the supermax gave us a full cup of ice. ice. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh, okay. Let's eat. Cheers. Oh my god, it's iconic. <laughs> So this is something you probably won't get in the tour guides, but the yeah. school that my dad's taught in, he used to teach in their primary school, just around the corner for like 30 years he was a teacher. Right here is Collarin's, a fantastic butcher. They've been here for decades. Dad used to send the students from the class. He'd get them to leave the school across the street, go up and pick up sausages, black pudding and rashers for the dinner while they were in class. And they loved it. So there you go. My goodness. Amy, are you living your best Bye. Galway life? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very good. 
So all these flags up here are because Galway is called the city of tribes and they're basically the kind of essentially founding families. So they have all their flags here. Okay, so we're just in our hotel room, time for a wee tour. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Okay, so you can see all the views of Loch Atholia. Obviously this is a gorgy corner suite. So there's Loch Atholia, how gorgeous. Wow. Oh my God, the lighting in here. Eamon, are you loving it? I'm obsessed. We have a twin, but it's like Loki a double. Baby, we've shared many beds. Oh, I don't think Joseph's gonna mind. <laughs> here we have a little bit of Hendrix oh gin. Oh my God! And some bath. tonic. Oh, and we've got ice. Oh, is there a bath? Wow, we, whoa! Oh my God! Oh, just me and my bath. Oh my God, we have to have a bath. Yay! And a big shower, you could have a party in here. The Galmont are so nice and they're so central. If you're coming to Galway, you could not get more central. You're literally a stone's throw away from the streets. So we gave you a good look. Well, I did my best of the streets of Galway. Oh my God, it's absolutely buzzing today. I honestly think that when the sun shines in Galway, there is no better place on earth. It is so much fun. Every corner, there's buskers, there's music. People are having drinks outside. It's just so, so fab. Uh, so we had a good wander around. We had some pizza slices at the Spanish Arch. We had a little white claw or two. And now we're gonna chill out and we actually have massages booked in. I mean, honestly, who do we think we are? But we're gonna get massages at 5 p.m. Uh, and then tomorrow the excursions are starting. So yeah, we need to have a drink now and get refreshed because it's very warm. Then make a gin and tonic. Well done. <laughs> That's good, wasn't it? Oh, I gotta put the gin in first. Oh, my hands are sweaty. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> nice little Hendrix. <laughs> I don't know. Children's I don't cocktail. Know oh, the whole thing. Was that too much? Yes. <laughs> do you know what? It'd be lovely. That probably is too many peppercorns. I think I'm late from the White Claw. <laughs> <laughs> News pour it up, pour it up. <laughs> Here it does get drunk sometimes. Cheers! <laughs> so I'm on my way to the spa. I'm low key five minutes late because we thought it was at five, not at four. But we are running. Oh my god, I just got pummeled with these shells. Oh my god, they're amazing. Um, they have like some sort of volcanic something in them that makes them retain the heat and they just stay really really hot oh my god i'm actually like floating that was incredible oh my god do you see this mark on my face right here i just got absolutely pummeled best massage ever it was a lava shell massage i don't even know how they work but they're these like old stony shell things that retain heat <sighs> Honestly. So right now I look like this. I need to get ready because we're going for dinner. We should do that TikTok where you're sitting in your robe on your chair and then you go your chair show up and then you're like, boom, into <gasps> I would the die. That would Let's be amazing. Molly Ross in my green Just going for dinner. Hi. We're very excited. We may have had a glass of wine. Or two. Or two. Or a white claw. And a white claw. <laughs> I love trips away with Eamon. <laughs> Drinks. It's like one in the morning <laughs> and we have to get a boat at 9 a.m. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am coming to you from the future. I didn't get to do an outro for the vlog that you just watched because when I was editing it, I realized that it's actually so long and I thought I would split it into two parts. The first one being our day of fun in Galway and the second one being the day of excursions because there's a lot of content in there. Um, I hope that's okay. I just wanted to come on and say that if you wanna see part two, you will see that next week. I've kind of left it on a bit of a cliffhanger. Did we make the boat? Did we get up in the morning? You'll have to tune in next week to find out. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do that. There will be a button up on screen that you can click and I will see you next week for my next vlog. Bye.
Thank you.